Hello guys and welcome to the Twist Network. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do picture in picture in Sony Vegas Pro 11. If you don't already have Sony Vegas Pro, there will be an annotation on the screen right now of a video showing you guys how to get Sony Vegas Pro. Anyway, moving on, let's just get right into it. So, in Sony Vegas we're going to want to import our two clips. Uh, so we're going to import our media. Uh, these are these. I just I've just got these two clips of me um, trying to waste time making long enough clips for the sake of this video. So we'll just drag in our our longest clip first. Uh, insert a new video track and then drag in our second clip. Um, for your second clip, I would actually I would advise strongly to delete the audio. Easy if they're if they're grouped the audio and the video. Just come to the audio layout, right click and uh, delete track, which I cannot find. Uh, delete track. So now we have our overlay video, which is the top one. And we have our uh, tutorial video maybe, or your, um, yeah, your tutorial video, or your background, or your main video, and this is your like, picture in picture uh, overlay video. So simply, you have to make sure your picture in picture video is on the top track. So track one, and then we hit this button here, track motion on the left of the options. Once we've hit track motion, uh, obviously dragging this out will it uh, make the clip bigger, and pinching it in will make it smaller. So as we pinched it in, we can just position this, so you can see it over here, like so, but like this, um, and then we can just sort of leave that. Now if we're going to hit play. Uh, our background video will seamlessly play at the same time as our uh, side video, and also you can trim this down if you wanted to, so that it uh, make it fade out, um, like so. So we just watch it through. I'm just sort of scrolling around, and then in my video on the right, you can see me messing around, and then it just casually fades out. So that was how to do picture in picture, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Actually, before I leave, um, I will just quickly show you guys how to. Uh, overlay a a um, I'm trying to think here a logo. If you have a spinning logo, which I will be doing a tutorial on how to create soon, uh, you drag it in, and you notice it will have a black background. The simplest way of doing this is if you checked anti-aliasing when you made it in Cinema 4D or wherever you made it. You right-click, go to Properties, uh, Media. Alpha channel and pre multiply. Uh, that one removes the background, and you come to the event pan crop tab here and you drag it out to make it smaller and you position it like so. Um, and then you can drag, if you go into the top of the video, you get a hand with a uh, vertical arrow, double end arrow, and it should say opacity is 100%, and you just drag it down to about 80%. Actually, 87, 90. Um, so now you guys can see I have the lo our, our logo, um, our picture in picture, and my main video all in all in the same capture. Um, so I hope that for you guys was a detailed enough tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Um, on screen now will be our previous video and the next video. So go check those out. Uh, also there'll be a subscribe annotation if you want to go subscribe to us. And if you check out our channel, you can um, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Peace out, guys.